warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone, the honorable, our amazing judges, and all audience. I'm Arthur Ali Algani from Junior High School of Imam An-Nawawi, Pekanbaru. I'd like to deliver you an interesting story about Bilal bin Rabah, a hero from Africa. Bilal bin Rabah al-Habashi was a loyal companion to Prophet Muhammad. He was also the first Muazzin in the Muslim faith. Bilal is the first person known as African ancestry to become a Muslim. Bilal was born in 5th of March 580 in Mecca to slave parents. His mother, Hamama, who was once a princess of Abyssinia, but was subsequently captured and enslaved. And his father, Rabbah, an Arab slave from Bani Humah clan in Mecca, Arabia. Bilal was born into slavery and belonged to Umayyah bin Khalf, a leading member of Quraysh, an Arab tribe that controlled Mecca in the time and head of Bani Juma, a clan who were allies of the polytheist Meccans. Bilal converted to Islam after he heard the message of the Prophet Muhammad Alaihi Wasallam, and five years after the Prophet began to gather followers. Converting to the new Islamic faith was a challenge for these enslaved persons, since it was not the religion of his owner. Umayyah bin Khalf, who was anti-Islam, subjected him to torture as a punishment for converting Islam. Khalf ordered his men to take Bilal to the desert. During the long hot summer, where he was stripped naked. On other occasion, a heavy rock were placed on his chest to force his renouncement of Islam. News of Bilal torture and resistance to it even to his spread, leading the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sent Abu Bakar, a wealthy trader and his close friend, to investigate Bilal's plight. Abu Bakar came to an open field where, after witnessing Bilal's torture, Abu Bakar decides to negotiate with Khalf for Bilal's freedom. Abu Bakar exchanged a bunch of gold for Bilal. Whom he cared and nursed back to help. When he recovered, Bilal was taken to the Prophet Muhammad and would remain to him and loyal to him for the rest of the Prophet's life. In 622, Prophet Muhammad, Bilal, and the rest of small Muslim community migrated from Mecca into the city of Medina. There, Muhammad would establish Islam region in that city. Prophet Muhammad appointed Bilal minister of the Baitul Mall. In that position, Bilal distributed funds to people in need, includes widows and orphans. Prophet Muhammad also appointed Bilal to be the first muazzin or prayer killer. Bilal accompanied Prophet Muhammad during his early military expedition and was given the honor of carrying his spear. Bilal fought in Battle of Badr, where he killed his former master, Khalaf. Bilal also participated in the Battle of Uhud and Battle of Trench, all of which helped rapidly spread Islamic faith across Arabia Peninsula. 
after mourning the death of the Prophet Muhammad, Bilal left Madinah and moved to Damascus, Syria, helping to establish Islam in that region. Bilal married a woman named Hin, and they have a child. Bilal and his family moved to Ethiopia. Moral value. The first is not a social status or rank or education that makes one person better than another. It is piety. Thus close to Allah was truly best of people. The second is tolerance, disciplines, courtesy, and social at a younger generation to always be passionate about achieving more life goal but for sake of nation and state. And the third is, weak people are not weak people in the future. Dumb people are not dumb people in the future. Failed people are not failed people in the future. We must be tough, whatever it be. We must be patient, whatever it happen. Because bad things not always be bad things. I'm Arthur Ali Algani from Junior High School of Imam Anawawi Pekanbaru. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.